Are you on dating apps? No! No! Oh, you know what? I have 10, 20, however many likes. No! Number one, when they've never been in a relationship before. That they're possible. If the first time that he asks you to hang out, he just says come over. Society's about to end, girl, and it's up to us to start repopulating the planet. I suppose. What's up, everyone? Popping in from the side here. Uh, uh, today's been a day, let me tell you. Um, so I found a few videos I'd like to go over. And this one's going to be a little different. We're going to sit here. We're going to watch through these. Uh, I'm really not sure what to think about them. But uh, one video is this lady talking about dating apps. And the other video is about, um, I think, red flags or something so let's get through them rat boy here and no i haven't watched through these videos first um we're gonna go in blind so let's see here we go rat boy are you on dating apps you may not be aware of this i've been aware of this situation for a while now but there are a lot of people on dating apps both men and women and what they do is they like Let's listen to what she's about to say. I have a feeling that it's going to be unremarkable, but here we go. Every single person that comes across their feed on the... Yeah, that's, that's what people do. That's what everyone does. They just like everybody and that they filter them in the, in the DMs. That's called hookup culture. You wanted it. You wanted equal opportunities. And you're getting it. This is what it's like. Welcome to hell. Dating app. And then they wait to see if someone actually responds to that. Life. This music is so annoying. I hope I don't get struck because of this. If I get struck because of this stupid music, I swear I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Do something. I'm not sure what, but something will happen. You know, in a very passive-aggressive way, obviously. Like, so while you're sitting there going, wow, you know what, I have 10, 20. Yeah, you have 20 likes. No, I mean, come on. What are you, what? So, this woman is in her 60s. What is she doing dating? Like, please get off TikTok. Turn off the face filters. And... Just stop. Please. Please stop. Please. However many likes. Yeah, a lot of those are just people. Yeah, just swiping. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this. Because well, let's see what she has to say at the end. Maybe it makes sense at the end. I'm just going to skip through a little bit of this. You don't mind, do you? God, look at how long this video is. Okay. Fishing. Throwing a line out there. Yeah. And seeing what they can reel in. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, she's saying the same stuff. I'm gonna fast forward a little more. Maybe something smart's gonna be after that. Because that's what this is all about. Is it? A lot of people are out there looking for oh, the next best god. thing. The, ne the next... <laughs> Thank you, lady. Or, actually, um... You can find all of her TikToks. Just search for Captain Obvious. And uh, they show up. Captain Obvious of dating. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. This is Red Flags and Men from Dating. Let's see. Let's hear this wisdom. This uh, regular, everyday uh, Einstein over here. Let's get started. Our favorite men. Number one. When they've never been in a relationship before never been in a relationship okay so wow see this is the mentality um these women want dudes that have been in 
five, six different relationships. Possibly a guy that's already married, like in an active relationship. Sometimes women only date men that are in active relationships too. So that's also something that is information that I wish I didn't know. So you're telling me, okay, that you want me to teach you, Joseph, everything you need to know about a relationship. How to please me, how to have a conversation, how to handle yourself in a fight. All the things that you normally learn through relationships. Only one of those things you'll learn in a relationship. And it varies woman to woman. So why would you want him to treat you like he treated someone? See, this doesn't make sense. Women make these videos, I swear, just to show off their nails. Look, look at her nails. And her makeup. She just got, you know, her, her uh, what are they called? Um, her lip fillers are looking kind of fresh. So she probably hopped on, wanted to make a quick video. These are all like random just things she picked out of a cosmo magazine i mean none of this makes any sense and women eat this stuff up this video had like millions of likes you want me to be your teacher for all that no 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 we're not teaching we're having someone that understands how to be in a relationship and is mature we're choosing someone that has been in one to two keep waiting wait how many it is she is she in a relationship right now? Is this why she's giving advice? Or, or are we just the blind leading the blind at this point? Maybe three or four relationships, okay? Number two, this should be obvious, but some girls need to hear it. When he says hi to every single girl in the bar, when he knows way too many people there, okay? Yes, it's okay to know people and have friends, but when you're just saying hello to all the girls, You've clearly hit on all of them. Maybe you're just going after the wrong dudes. You know, maybe if he knows every girl in a bar, maybe that's not good. You've probably seen this. I mean, obviously this has happened to her personally a couple of times if she's making a video about it, right? That's how TikTok works, right? And we don't want someone that's just going to be community boy jumping from girl to girl, okay? We want someone that has boys there, that has a table, that we can rally up the girls for him. We provide the girls, and he handles the table and men, okay? We know what kind of girls you provide. A lot of dudes aren't interested, honestly. I mean, it, let's be real. If, if you're going to bars and clubs, I mean, come on. Are we really going to not call something like, well, we're not going to be honest about this, right? We're just not going to say it. Okay. Well, we won't say it, but we all know what it is. Number three. And I've been, you know, guilty of doing this, talking badly about their ex. Nobody cares. Why are you? talking badly or why are you talking about that anyways why would you bring that up unless it absolutely needs to be brought up which i don't think it, need, it would ever need to be brought up with you why would you ever say and also some dude you randomly slept with for two weeks isn't an ex it's just some random dude you met a lot by the way and one to two times is fine but if they're talking badly about their ex every single time you're the toxic one you made them a little crazy. You had to have. You don't have this spitefulness for someone if you didn't play a part in the wrongdoing. And number four. Wow, she literally, that is 99.9% .9 of all the women TikToks about relationships. Listen to me clearly. It is a red flag if the first time that he asks you to hang out, he just says come over. No date, no plans, just... Okay, so obviously she's talking about chats. The rest of this video is just filler. It doesn't make any sense because she has no idea what she's talking about. Anyways, um, this is Rat Boy. Hope you learned something because I know I didn't. Anyways, laters.